Hi, and welcome to VFX Tutors. My name's Josh, and in this tutorial, we're going to be continuing building our set scan from our, um, sorry, our set geo from our set scan that we created. So far, we've created the set scan, we've modeled our proxy geometry, and we've completely UV'd it. So now all we need to do is bring this, uh, prep this to be brought into Agisoft and have the textures reprojected. So I've got my, my file open. I can see everything's nicely UV'd. And I'm just gonna call this uh uh car part uh so geo GRP for group. Cool. So if you remember at the start, we made these two keyframes. And we needed this first keyframe to so we can bring it back into Agisoft and reproject the textures. So I'm going to select my car park group. I'm going to middle mouse click and drag it under the plane. So now if I go to the first frame, press F to uh, center on it. We can now see if I just hide. Oh, if I just select my car park set geo. It's now in that orientation. So if I press sh Shift P, it's now adopted these translations and rotations. Now I just need to go, and now I just need to export this geometry. So I'm going to go File, Export Selection, and I'm going to make another export file. You can. Um, in fact, let's do it. let's do car park. But make sure you put four um, projection. Because then you know that's uh, the one that's you you want it for the projection. Then click export selection. So now we've exported that out of the position of it was imported in from Agisoft. Our next step is now to go to our Agisoft file with our scan and import it in and replace the model. So I'm just going to open up my Agisoft and you can see we've got the scan here and you can see it's at this funny angle and you can see we might have accidentally chopped some of this off. We might have actually got some more out of the scan but we didn't really need it. So now we need to import the model. So I'm just going to go file import model and I go to the export folder and I'm going to select the car park for projection select open and I'm going to select yes to replace the default model and now you can see we've got our sort of basic set geo in there so our next step is just to go to workflow and build texture so We've got our texture map here. We've got our source data, which is our images, our mapping mode. We want to make sure that we keep the UV and leave it on mosaic. And it's up to you. So if we actually, before we do this, let's go to tools and we can go to mesh and look at mesh UVs. And there we are. <laughs> I was like, where is it? it's got no color on we can see now our uvs are there cool just to double check that they're there so we're going to go back to model oh sorry workflow build texture and we can keep this as long as it says keep uv it's fine we don't have to change anything into we don't really want to change any of this because sometimes it can be funny stuff we just want to be able to get accurate projections from our uh, uh images so i'm going to change this to 8000 because I want quite a high res texture so if I'm using it for um, tracking so I can pick up some nice details but then you might want it for other reasons so I'm just going to select OK this is going to start building the textures and projecting them onto our geo so this might take a little bit of time so I'll probably fast forward through this cool so now it's done we, we 
because it's got darkness because we've got nothing to project up there anyway. Maybe it was better with the ground on there, but um, it doesn't matter. So we've now got our textured model. We can just go to a model solid. And we're pretty much done. So all we now need to do is go File, Export, Export Texture. I'm just gonna call that. And for now, I'm just gonna do it as a TIFF. I'm gonna call it car park diff v01. It's like save. Click OK. So this is going to export me out my 8K diffuse map. So I can go back to Maya now. And if I put this back under the plane. And unhide it. Then I can shift P that out. And now I can hide that scan. And now our car park set geo is back at its uh, correct position. So now all I need to do is right click, assign new material. I'm just going to put a Lambert on it for now. Lambert uh, car park set geo. I'm going to select color. Let me go file. It's got stuck on there, that means it's probably added. Okay, color. Select file. You click on this little yellow folder. And I'm going to go to my photogrammetry, set scans. Oh, I need to go to texture. And it'll be quite large because it's a diff, but um, you can do it as a JPEG or do anything you want to it. It's entirely up to you. I just do it as a TIFF because it's nice to sort of edit it. And what we can do, to, we can change this to... No, I think it's in sRGB, isn't it? So panels, sorry, renderer. And we can change our max texture resolution. We can just max it out, and reload all our textures. And if we change our lighting to flat lighting, we can now see that we've got basically our, our pretty accurate set geo with it all textured and ready to go. So yeah, we're pretty much done with this. You can, it's just, a quick sort of set geo creation from scans and texture projection methods. Um, yeah, and we're pretty much done. So do do whatever you would like to do with this and make your own scans and set geo for your tracking. And even like when you go on your wireframe on shaded. If we change our clipping rate to 10. You can see that you're going to have a really nice viewport. Let's turn on our anti aliasing. So maybe even. Well, you, you only see it from. Let's get rid of that. That's just just so close. It must just be right on it, so we can just move it so slightly, so we're not seeing it. And let's not do that because you won't see it really. Anyway, and you can see you've got some really nice wireframe as well. So yeah, 
we're pretty much done. So um, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.